Welcome back. A local baseball coaching legend is calling it a career. Our Travis Green has a story on Don Ressa, who's in his 50th and final season of coaching at U High. Like that? How's that work? Yeah. When you think of U High baseball, you think of Don Ressa. We'll mix in the slider and the straight change if Drew can get the signs right. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go. Don's kind of the godfather of Titan baseball. He was there back since the 70s. I think there was one coach before him when the school opened in the early 60s. And Titan baseball is Don Ressa. It's just a special place because of what they started. He's coached at U High for 50 years, but number 50 will be his last. That was kind of a bucket list thing for me. I wanted to be able to say, hey, I coached at U High for 50 years. I was fortunate enough to be able to do that. Ressa, who's been an assistant coach for the Titans after taking a break from coaching, is stepping away from the game to be able to watch his grandson play in high school. One of the all-time greats the GSL has ever seen, Ressa was the head coach at U High for 30 years, where he racked up 362 career wins and five GSL titles, a career that earned him a spot in the Washington State Baseball Coaches Hall of Fame. I never in my life ever imagined that would happen. I mean, that was just, that was an earth shattering event for me to be, to be in with all the great coaches of Washington. Uh, man, oh man, I was, I was, that was pretty humbling experience for me. He's had his number nine retired by the Titans and it seems a given that a field he helped build will one day be named after him, but he's in no rush to see that. You know, I guess you have to be dead to be able to do that. So maybe someday, I don't know, but I'm, I'm in no hurry for that. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing he's yet to accomplish is win a state championship. This year's U High team has an opportunity to do so as they clinched a spot in the playoffs with a GSL regular season title. But for him, it's never been about wins. I like teaching the game. That really, that's really fun for me. Uh, but I think uh, more than that for me, it's the relationship you establish with these kids. You know, th those relationships they they last forever. Yeah, it was a it was basically it was a labor of love, because I I just love the game. I mean, I just. I love it. He spent half a century following his passion, working one job his entire life. But does that even count as work? My whole career here, it was never really a job. It was this place I got to come every day and have fun with the, with great kids in our community, and they actually paid me for it. Travis Green, Crim2 Sports.